I'm here to talk about Eagle Plains Resources. Um, we're a company that's been around uh, a long time. So, uh, we listed back in 1995, so we've got a 25-year history in the, in the public markets. We are an exploration company that focuses on uh, prospect generator model. Um, basically, it's, uh, it's a risk-averse uh, way to do exploration. Exploration is essentially the riskiest part of the mining spectrum, and it usually takes a lot of money, and it takes a lot of dry holes, if you will, along the way to make discoveries. And we've just uh, found over the years that the best way to, uh, to mitigate risk is to bring on partners and to use, for the most part, other people's money to, to do the heavy lifting in the exploration business. We've got 40 projects in Western Canada, um, basically the whole spectrum of commodities, gold, silver, lead, zinc, silica, uranium, um, all kinds of different target types, uh, a, lot of, a lot of good technical geology we do. We have, we have a group of geologists in-house that uh, work with us and for us. Um, we're very proud of the fact that we've been around 25, 25 years as a public company and still have never done a rollback. Uh, we've only got 90 million shares out right now. Um, so that's quite remarkable in itself that we've never rolled back the stock. We've got uh, our original share structure from, from way back when. And at the same time, we trade roughly 10, 11 cents a share right now. Um, our market cap is about $10 million, give or take. But over the years, we've uh, delivered to our shareholders about $65 million in dividends through uh, spin-outs that we've completed successfully over the years. Uh, right now, I, uh, we have about $5 million in, in the bank, in cash and uh, shares. We have about a $7 million working capital. And we actually, uh, another unique part of our business model is that we actually uh, are positive revenue generators right now through various uh, financial sources we have. We have uh, Eagle Plains owns its own exploration company called TerraLogic, which is uh, a very talented group of young people that work for Eagle Plains and also for third party companies. So that actually generates revenue for us. We uh, also have a number of option agreements in place that uh, generate cash and, and give us shares in other companies on an annual basis. Um, we, have, uh, we own our own office building. Um, we're based in a small town in Cranbrook, BC. Um, we own our own building here. We actually occupy uh, about three quarters of the building and the rest of the building we rent out to a group of doctors and professionals. So we get, we get revenue on a whole bunch of sources, which is one of the ways we've been able to avoid dilution over the years and still have no rollbacks after 25 years. We've been able to attract some big names in the business over the years. Um, anybody that's in our business knows how hard it is to get in the door of some of these big companies, but we've successfully landed option deals with uh, SSRM Mining, formerly Silver Standard, Tech, uh, Tech Cominco, Rio Agam, Kennecott, Billiton, um, to name a few. This is our list of properties across uh, Western Canada. We're focused in British Columbia. Our head office is in Southeast BC, so a lot of our projects are there. But we've also got a lot of projects in Saskatchewan and the Yukon as well. And again, our, our model calls for other people to work with us on these to, to spend a lot of the money moving these forward. And this is how the prospect generator model works and uh, our, our farm outs. The bottom of this chart, uh, the orange color here, is Eagle Plains Resources expenditures ourselves out of our treasury. So um, in the early years, we were spending our own money. The, the bar in blue there are uh, contributions by our partners, how much our partners spend. And the bar in yellow is how much uh, TerraLogic uh, works for other companies, third parties. But you can see in 2011, um, this was kind of our apogee as a company, 2011, we had about $10 million spent on our properties, but out of our treasury, we only spent about $300,000. So we were getting that exposure to that kind of exploration. We also have uh, a number of royalties, over 20 individual royalties that are held by other companies. Again, various commodities uh, are covered by these royalties. Um, some big names here that, that host, hold these royalties for us, Cameco, Denison, Arriva, um, which is now Arano. SSRM, Alexco. These are all for, sort of free lottery tickets that don't cost us anything. The, um, these are held by these companies. They're generally a 2% royalty, maybe with a buy down. Um, we did sell one of these royalties for a million dollars cash a few years ago. So these things do hold good value, um, but they're, they're risk free uh, uh, possible reward down the road. So I can't uh, stand up here and tell you we're going to deliver 10 baggers. Um, that'd, be, that'd be tough to do, but I can tell you we've done it uh, a number of times in the past. We've, we've done it four times in the past, actually 10 and 20 baggers for our shareholders. This is back 2003 and 2011. These are the kind of gains uh, that Eagle Plains gave over that period. 
And uh, part of our model too is, is if we get a project that sort of takes off, that has a life of its own, we spin it out into a separate company, give those shares of the new company to our shareholders. So back in 2007, we spun out a company called Copper Canyon Resources. It came out of the gate at a dollar a share. We had about 60 million shares out then, so we created 60 million shares of Copper Canyon, dividended them, dividended them out to our shareholders, and Copper Canyon delivered spe spectacular returns a couple times in its history too. So you put, put them together, the Eagle Plains shares, the Copper Canyon shares, these are the kind of returns we delivered um, in a very short amount of time, four times we, we had these, this happen for our shareholders. And if you believe in periodicity at all, this was sort of the span of these things. This is where we are right now. I think we're overdue. Um, again, at a 10 cent stock, we're back to ground zero, but we're healthier than we've ever been as a company. This is a look at our share value, including the dividends. Um, again, the bar in yellow is the absolute value of Eagle Plains shares. Right now, you know, we're roughly 10 cents a share, but the value of the dividended shares that people, if they wanted to sell them, if they kept holding them, that's what they're worth right now. So we have an effective value to long-term shareholders at about 60 cents a share, though we're trading right now at 10 cents a share. The bar in blue is the spin-out we just completed this year. It's called uh, Taiga Gold. And we just, uh, we just put that together this year based on one of our properties that uh, we have in Saskatchewan optioned with SSR Mining. We listed Taiga Gold this year in April on the CSE. It's trading now at about, uh, I think it was 12 cents a share today. It's got 60 million shares out. We did it on a one for two basis. So every Eagle Plain shareholder got a half a share of Taiga delivered to them. They could do what they want with it. They could sell it. They could hold on to it and go from there. And that's, that's how we operate as, again, a company in the riskiest part of the business, taking the risk out of it. We, we sort of operate as a, as a grassroots exploration mutual fund, if you will. This is our, the primary property for Taiga. It's called the Fisher property. It, it adjoins the CB Gold operation held by uh, SSR Mining. SSR uh, took out Claude Resources about three years ago. Soon after that deal was consummated, uh, we did a deal with our property and, and SSR. I'm not sure how this... Our property is in yellow here, uh, the Fisher property. That's the flagship property. Um, it adjoins the uh, S, uh, CB Gold property, which is up and left there, and, and our deal with SSR is uh, they're going to spend $4 million and give us $3.3 million to earn 80%. They've so far already spent $4 million, but haven't triggered the JV yet. They're, we just announced a couple days ago that SSR has committed another $4 million in exploration on the property this year. Again, this is exploration. It doesn't cost us a nickel. We just wait for results. This is again the land package. The, the property that, that uh, SSR is exploring, the, the shear structure is the same structure that they're mining right now at the Santoy deposit. Um, the CB Gold operations produce 1.4 million ounces. They've got another 1.2 million in inferred and, and uh, indicated, and they're looking for more ounces, and they're looking on our property for it. So the highlights for this year, we completed the spin out. Uh, SSR last year did 14,000 meters of drilling. We've got another 8,000 just started now and, uh, and a lot more surface work as well. They've created an all season camp on the property and uh, they're, they're committed for the long haul on it. Again, risk free to us, which is just the way we love it. Um, expect more of the same from Eagle Plains. We're doing a lot of research. We're doing acquisitions all the time. We're looking for deals all the time. We're also seeing that TerraLogic is being more, uh, more and more active with other companies. So we expect more revenue from that as well. And that's it. Thanks very much for your time.